Hello friends! So, like a lot of people in the US around this time of year, I have a tradition of carving pumpkins. I was going around the stores trying to find pumpkin carving kits I like because I'm not creative enough to just, like, draw my own face on there and carve it out. So I was trying to find a kit and I couldn't find anything I liked. And I decided to go over to my parents' house and see if they had any extras. And they had eight extra kits. So one of my things is that I like to get a new book every year because new patterns, new perspective on life. And apparently they just took all the old pattern books and shoved them in the linen closet. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through the pattern books and see what sort of weird patterns they have that I just passed over and see if there's anything I wanted to use this year. So this is the oldest one that I have. It's from 1992, so I would have been three years old when this came out. I'm going to guess with probably 100% accuracy that I originally wanted this pack because there's a cat on the back. But I also have a weird memory of carving the monster that's letting the little kid into the room. Uh, there's definitely a kidnapping happening with that one. This one is from 1998, and hey look, another cat. I'm pretty sure all of these have cats on them somewhere. What is it with Halloween and cats? Are cats supposed to be scary? I mean, I guess there's a whole black cat thing, but I assume that's just more like bad luck than Halloween. I don't know. And in case you really got your holidays messed up, this one has not only the American flag, but also Lady Liberty, and I just ripped out that page. Apparently I'm going to be doing which way? Or just leaving it in. I think my favorite part of all the designs and why I probably always get like Pumpkin Masters designs is the name. Because we've got like this spider that's called Holarachnid and a whole bunch of ghosts that's called Tribu Council. I just want the job as the person who comes up with the weird names for the pumpkin carvings. Okay, this one is just straight up Indiana Jones. They're not even trying. So when I was little, my dad was always the one carving the pumpkin, so I would always choose the hardest designs possible just for him to carve out because I'm a little bit of a sadist. I remember when I first started carving pumpkins that my dad would give me so much crap about that because I of course chose like the smiley face instead of the like intricate castle with the millimeter long designs. And he would just be like, what, you don't want the intricate designs? I'd be like, damn straight, I'm doing it myself. Easy thing. Give me the stars and stripes. I know I definitely got this pattern book because of Vampira, and then I apparently never cut it out. This must have been from the year Twilight was popular though, because there's about five different vampire patterns in this book. Yep, there goes a the pattern. That pattern is gone forever. And or it's on the other side of the couch. This was actually a really interesting pattern book. I think I got three different pattern books that year because I was kind of obsessed with pumpkins. But this one has a pattern in the front, and then you cut out a section in the back, and supposedly you put a candle in and it glows on the wall. But at my house we never had candles in the pumpkins because my mom's allergic to smoke so we put a night light in and it wasn't bright enough to shine at the back. So basically what you had was a front pattern and then a little blob of light on the wall behind you and it didn't really work out very well. I wonder if it would work out better now that I can actually have candles or if it would still just be a blob of light on the wall. There's really nothing in particular that I want to put on the back of the pumpkin though, so I'm probably not going to do that. Whenever these pumpkin carving books have instructions, they always show a picture of an owl. And I have never seen a pumpkin carving book with a pattern of an owl in it. And trust me, I have enough pumpkin carving books that if that pattern existed, I'd probably have seven of them. And it kind of pisses me off, because I just want to have an owl on my freaking pumpkin. I mean, I suppose I could just go to the internet and print out a picture of an owl, but what is the fun in that? Okay, I think I've decided that I'm just going to do Castle Creep because even though there are a lot of fun and really weird patterns in these books, can you really go wrong with the Haunted Castle? Anyway, I'm going to go try and carve this. Do you guys carve pumpkins? If so, what are you making yours into? Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. I'm apparently leaving a voicemail message. Whatever. I'll see you later, guys.